Hey, let's talk about using area rugs to absorb reflections and to minimize reverb. And this is specifically for podcast recording. I mean, you could see me right now. I'm speaking into this mic and I'm in this room. And you could see I have, there's carpeting on the floor, right? That's wall to wall carpeting, right? The whole room is covered with carpeting. Uh, but a lot of rooms in houses have hardwood floors, some people's houses, right? And so if you have a hardwood floor, what happens is the sound, for instance, right now, the sound of my voice is sort of bouncing around the room I'm in, but the carpeting is sort of absorbing some of that. And also the big foam you see on the back wall that I have there, those, the egg crate foam, that's absorbing a lot of the reflections. So when I speak in this room, instead of my reflections bouncing around continually, they might bounce a couple times, but then they lose their energy. They get absorbed into the foam or the carpet or the, or, you know, uh, furniture or drapes, things like that, like soft materials, they absorb the sound reflections. So, and the reason this is important for podcast production is that if you record audio and it sounds like you're in a gymnasium, or if it sounds like you're down a long hallway, you just sound very distant. That's that is some of the worst audio to listen to. It's, it's almost unlistenable. It, it's, it's the, it's literally probably the worst audio you could possibly record for a podcast. So you don't want that. You want, you don't want to hear the reverb of the room or the reflections of the bouncing audio, you know, the, uh, the waves frequencies and all that. Um, you don't want that. So it's good to have some sound absorption in the room where you're recording. And th this is why a lot of people, they go in their closet to record their podcast, right? Because, their closet probably has carpeting and it has all kinds of clothing around it, right? It's all absorptive material. So when they go in their closet and they talk into a mic, there's very few reflections. And so you're just getting the, the direct, clean recording of the voice, right? So area rugs are helpful. If you, for instance, if you do have a hardwood floors in the room where you're recording, you could potentially get an area rug, you know, that, that, you know, just a smaller rug that rolls up and then you could just roll it out on the hardwood floor and you could leave it there forever. Or you could, you could potentially only roll out the area rugs when you're, when you want to record, you know, you could keep the, you could keep the rugs in the closet. And then when you're going to record, just roll out a couple area rugs and that'll help a lot actually. So typically the thicker and shaggier the rug, the more audio it will absorb, the more sound it will absorb. So uh, anyway, that's just a kind of a rule of thumb. So, and it's the truth. So yeah, so the size of the rug is important too. I mean, if you just, if you have a big room like this and you put like a rug this big on it, it's not going to do much, right? So how much area you cover also makes a big difference. So all right, and I also link below. I will link to this other to a, a blog post I did about other sound absorbing items that you can use in your recording space. So I'll let you go check that out. Um, all right, well thanks. So check out my show, the Podcast Engineering Show. You can sign up for the daily goodie emails on the website and also podcastengineeringschool.com. If uh, you or anyone wants to learn how to produce podcasts from home professionally and earn a great living doing it. That's what I teach people at Podcast Engineering School. So let's finish it up. Let's end it there, I should say. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that stuff if you want to. And I'll see you next time. All right. See ya.